Hello, it's out there again in YouTube land. My name is Greg. It's Greg from Motors and More. If it's your first time to the channel, welcome. Uh, we like to try to save old pieces of lawn and garden equipment, small engine things. Uh, and we try to give them a new life if we can. So today on the channel, we got this Lawn Boy Gold Series. It is a two stroke, it's an older one. Uh, a guy at work gave me this. It was his mom's. And uh, he said it performed faithfully for her for many years. Um, story I got was he accidentally put straight gas in it, ran it for about 10 minutes and shut it off. And he had some lawn repair guy over there that he called and the guy told him, he says, well, he says, it's not even worth bringing in. He says, it's junk. So he said, okay. So he brought it over to me and said, hey, will you take it? I said, yeah, I'll take it. So here it is. Um, I believe you when he says he put straight gas in it. I believe him that he ran it for 10 minutes. Uh, I haven't touched it. I mean, as you can see, it is absolutely filthy. It's been sitting out here for, oh, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something like that. I don't know how long it was before that that he ran it. We're just going to treat it like it's been sitting for a while. And uh, first thing we're going to do is see what's in the tank. Lawn Boy Two Strokes do not have engine oil. They don't have engine oil in the crankcase, I should say. Their oil goes into fuel. And, uh, if you don't mix it, well, this actually has some blue in it, so there was a little oil there. That's a good sign, but, uh, you run them on straight gas, they don't last too long, it scores up the cylinder walls, roots and pisses. But, uh, something tells me this guy's probably going to be all right. Well, I can tell that this is a watered-down mix, it does still have some oil in it. So that's a very good thing. It doesn't smell horrible either. It's definitely fluff. We're going to try to get as much of this, much of this fuel out as we can. Another advantage to a two-stroke engine is there's a lot of water usually. That they make more power. Yeah, yeah. That's probably about all the fuel we're going to be able to get out of. Okay. All right. Let me uh, set this aside. I'll put it in a container later for a bonfire. I know this can says 50 to 1. That's not what's in there. I mixed this up. Extra heavy. It's actually a little bit heavier than 32. We call it 32 and a half to one on these lawn boys. And it's heavier than that, so. Oh, come on now. These dang childproof lids. So we're going to give her a little bit of that. Yeah, and it's nice and blue. Plenty for what we're doing. Now well, we got some fuel in it. Since it was ran on that weak mix, I'm going to take the spark plug out and we're going to go ahead and move the cylinder up really good with some pre all. Because that stuff, I'll tell you what, it's one of my favorite penetrating oils. That stuff right there, hopefully you can see that. My absolute favorite of all time is Kano Croil because, man, I've seen that stuff work in places. I've never seen anything work. This stuff's a close second. Um, I mean, WD 40 has its purpose, but. It was designed as a water displacement. It has a little lubricant in it, but not as much as something like this or Kano Croil. I've seen that Croil creep up threads and stuff and get in where it needs to go. Pull this plug out and see what this thing was running like last time it was going. If I can get my fingers to work, it's kind of cold out today. Okay, listen up everybody, turn up your volumes, announcement. I got good news. We're extending arts and crafts time by four hours today. 
My fingers hurt. What's that? My fingers hurt. Oh, well, oh, now your back's going to hurt because you just pull landscaping duty. Hmm. Anybody else's fingers hurt? I didn't think so. Not too bad. She's got some carbon on her, but for a two-stroke, that that's kind of what happens. I mean, they burn that oil and carbon's on the plug. And every once in a while, that exhaust screen's got to be cleaned out. Let's go ahead and tip her up a little bit here. And we're just going to go ahead and shoot a whole bunch of that right there in that cylinder. That's a good amount right there. Then the tip a little bit on the side like that. I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna grab the blade and do it. Oh yeah, she's tight. Yes, you are tight like a tiger. I'm just gonna slowly roll it over. Just give her a little bit more. She's gonna smoke like a banshee if she starts. Starting to come around. I've had these old log boys totally stuck before from sitting, and they still take back off and run. Boy, there's a lot of grass under that deck. Somebody didn't take care of that very good. Good thing it's not metal, they'll never rust. Oh, yeah. All right. Probably good. So let's go ahead and uh, give her a pull and try and blow some of that out. That's what she's supposed to sound like. The recoil's a little weak on her, though. Let's see if I can't do a little bit of this free all up there. I guess the next thing to do is we're going to see if uh, see if the old spark box is working because lawn boys are notorious for just randomly losing spark out of the wood. Can't tell you how many I've had that were pretty decent running on mowers and uh, all of a sudden they don't, uh, they don't run no more. See if I can't get you guys over here to be able to see the sparky spark. If we got it, forgive me. <laughs> Camera probably gonna fall over as soon as I pull on it. Got the handle tied back. We got any sparky spark? Yes, I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Yep, we saw it. We got sparky spark. All right, that recoil does not sound awesome at all. Okay, get you guys set back up over there. And uh, I'll throw the plug back in it. And then we'll go on to the next thing. All right, well, it's the moment of truth. I removed the air filter because it was absolutely filthy. Um, and I sprayed a little bit of that gas oil mix down in the carburetor to try to give it something to prime with. Choke set, and... Uh, here goes nothing. This is a surprise, Clark. <laughs> this is just a real nice surprise. Just a real nice surprise.
Didn't sound too bad at all, did it? Let's see how it restarts. Clean the air filter for it, re-oil it, put it back together. Um, for right now, I think I just want to get an idea of how the top side is going to clean up. I've been using this spray away glass cleaner on things. It seems to work all right. I don't know about today when it's freezing out and about to get some snow though. But we'll we'll see here in a minute what she does. Right on there, let it sit for a minute. Yeah, somebody, some guy that works on mowers told him it was junk, not worth fixing. Didn't sound like junk. Fast wash all the car, then the wax. wax. Remember, dear, no question. Yeah, but right. I... Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Wax on, wax off. Jump to me. Sounds like it's probably got some good years of service left in it as long as it's taken care of. Keep good fuel and oil in it. I mean, I, I can't deny that it probably hurt the compression a little bit. But, I mean, it still has some oil in the fuel. Usually on two strokes, once that piston gets scored up, they're done. And, I mean, they get a little compression, they don't run right or they don't run at all. And this one, to me, sounds pretty darn healthy. Took right off. I mean, it's like 28 degrees out today. Fired up first pull. I guess the old adage, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And I guess that stands true on this unit. Some units it doesn't. As you guys know, I've been hosed by a lot of stuff, but this wasn't one of them. Hard to beat free and no parts. Just a little bit of time, a little fuel. I really am fond of these old lawn boys, so they don't get the they don't get the credit they deserve from most folks. You can mow a hillside with these or mow a pasture, thick brush. Not trees or anything like that, obviously, but I mean they they're a dang powerhouse, boy. They're, you don't got to worry about rod knocking them, having them on a hillside, either, like you do with a with a four cycle. But I don't know. I'm I'm kind of fond of two strokes in general. The old Detroit's and semis, and stuff like that. I, I've messed around with them for years. We're just gonna give her a little. Uh, Give her a little love right now. Yeah. I think she's gonna clean up decent. I mean, she's not a showpiece. But somebody will fall in love with her. Maybe a who knows? Maybe a 14 or 15 year old kid will get this thing and they'll just fall in love with it. And, you know, mow people's yards with it. Get into lawn boys. That'd be, be pretty awesome in my book. I sold some stuff last summer. There was a couple of kids living in the next town over from me. They kept messaging me about stuff. And I, uh, I was so happy that they were mowing yards and have their own little lawn business at 14, 15 years old. I gave them some real good deals on some stuff to help them out. 
It just makes me happy to see young people take an interest in the hobby, to take an interest in working hard for what they're getting. Something you don't see very often anymore at all. You gotta reward that kind of behavior when you see it. All right, well. What do you guys think of that, huh? Does that look better? Still got some polishing to go, but the lawn boy green is starting to come back and shine a little bit. Wow. So anyway, I, uh, I think that's where I'm gonna let this video go, guys. I really don't have anything else to show you on. But I do appreciate you watching, listening to me ramble, putting up with my shortcomings. Uh, have a great day, God bless you guys.